We are Venom. Today we're going to check out the Venomnibus by Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman. It has a 1,352 page count and the cover price of $125. Let's get into this Omnibus review. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Today we're checking out the Ven Omnibus Man, probably one of my most highly anticipated books of the year. You get uh, the King in Black number one cover for this uh, standard edition cover here by Ryan Stegman. On the spine, you got the Venom. Not sure why they didn't go with the Ven Omnibus on the spine, but it is what it is. On the back of the book here, you get Null sitting there looking creepy as ever. So this is a huge beautiful book man and let me just start out by saying the mapping on this is incredible so checking out the inside of the dust jacket here on the left hand side you have a little bit of the build up to this venom run by donny cates and leading into like the king in black which basically this whole run is going to be doing that it's going to be setting up king in black you have this great wraparound cover here with this gigantic symbiote dragon that you pretty much get right off the bat in the story here so this uh this story just really pops off from the beginning and it just builds and builds and builds so this book is going to collect the absolute carnage and it's going to collect the king and black story as well so let's take a look at the binding of this real quick sewn binding of course little little bit of an eye as you can see there you do get a little bit of gutter loss throughout this book it's a giant book it's 1352 pages you're going to get some gutter loss which is understandable with how absolutely gigantic this book is so opening it up you're going to see these black bookend pages here you got the venom title page here then it's going to get into the table of contents and as i said before the mapping of this is really good so so you're not going to have to flip around to issues that are supposed to be in the right spot. It just reads through perfectly. I guess if you had the King of Black omnibus, once you get to that section of this omnibus, you could switch over to that and read the tie-ins and such. You do get a great little introduction here from Donny Cates, speaking on how he was a fan of Venom as a kid, and you know how he used to talk to kids at school about Venom lore, about how uh, he would absorb like bullets, and that was the green slime was his body, like getting rid of this material um and then it kind of leads up to like him actually like meeting his wife and stuff like that so it's a kind of a cool little story and introduction into uh donny case getting into this run so you start out with venom number one man and it gets into a lot of like different lore and stuff like that so you have like some stuff about beowulf and the grendel and that plays into the role of the symbiote and stuff like that that'll happen later on a little bit it's kind of cool that that has a throwback to like all those times but man this this story is absolutely fantastic I waited for this omnibus to come out. I didn't want to read the hardcovers. I didn't read it in singles. This is the way I like to read. So being that the mapping is so perfect in this book, I really, really was happy because you just read it straight through, man. I could not put this book down. I just kept reading it and reading it. I think I read it in a couple sittings, but about a day and a half is what it took me to read this thing. So as soon as it came in the mail, I just started going at it hard. So it's got a good relationship with Eddie Brock and the symbiote or his other. Um, you meet a bunch of different characters like Rex Strickland here. You find out more about the symbiotes and that, you know, that the symbiotes were connected to many different hosts, not just Eddie Brock. So you get a little background story on uh, Rex Strickland. He kind of uh, plays a role throughout this whole book. And it's kind of cool just seeing like the old old throwbacks to like with the Vietnam with Rex Strickland. He's the Tyrannosaurus Rex, I think was his code name, which is pretty dope. Um, and then it jumps right into the Venom 3, which is going to be the first appearance of Null in here. And, uh, you know, you get this great scene with Miles Morales. There's this huge symbiote dragon. They're battling this big dragon, uh, you know, Eddie Brock and Miles Morales. And Miles uses his Venom Blast to take down the dragon. And then you see Null, man. And Null appears and just all his creepiness and glory, man. Love the Null teeth. Uh, he's such a cool character and then it will slowly build throughout the rest of these books of you know the warnings of no coming and when is he coming and you know eddie brock has a connection with the symbiote hive so he can tell when he's going to be on his way and uh, you learn a lot more about the symbiote and stuff like that you learn about no you learn about his history here how he's just like in this void this uh planet well it's not even a planet it's just like these symbiotes that encage him and he's uh waiting to be released he needs these uh these pieces these codex or codis to uh release him so you're gonna get a lot of that story is gonna be building on that the codexes and who has them and you know uh cletus cassidy comes about later on in the story this crazy cult uh ends up bringing cletus cassidy back from the dead and then uh cletus cassidy is on a mission to basically release uh no from the symbiotes and all that so 
it's a it's it's great stuff man love the darkness love the brutality of it there's a lot of just reds and blood and gore throughout this book i love this web of uh, venom here this uh, venom book here and then you get this great uh reed richards with uh he's the maker he's like this different uh alternate reality version of reed richards you find out some things about different characters that have been involved in the venom history like flash thompson here so i'm gonna try not to get into like too many like spoilers throughout this book because if you're like me you probably haven't read this yet and you're kind of just been waiting to uh you know for this omnibus to come out but uh you get the maker man he's funny it's just reed richards with this big uh like cone head dome here i will say all the issues throughout this book are very good like the new comic book days the one shots and the tie-ins that are all involved in this book are all very enjoyable and good they all have great stories they all have you know it, it pertains to this whole ongoing story in venom here it all makes sense and uh it's all very very enjoyable man i mean there's sometimes when you know you have annuals and things like that where i'm just not a fan of it man it breaks up the story and it's just not good at all but there were a few bits in this book that i wasn't like totally a fan of i wasn't really huge on the whole uh asgardian thing with the dark elves and malekith and uh, Eddie Brock getting this dream stone from this witch and then turning into this Asgardian venom with this crazy armor and stuff like that as he battles these dark elves in Midgard. All that was like kind of so-so. I wasn't like a huge fan of that. I'm like not a huge fan of all of that Malekith uh, War of the Realms stuff, man. That War of the Realms omnibus was so hard to get through. That story is just not one of my favorites. But uh, then it gets into the Absolute Carnage. So you get Absolute Carnage all right here, which is terrific, man. Love the artwork throughout all of this. Ryan Stegman is just a beast, man. He absolutely kills it throughout this book. He's like the main artist throughout this whole omnibus. And man, I just love his, his artwork. It's just so damn good. So you're going to get a lot with Eddie Brock and the symbiote and the relationship. And then you're going to also get Eddie Brock's son, Dylan. And you're going to get a couple uh, characters introduced like Sleeper and was it Virus? There's a... A bunch of older characters that are going to come back in a new style um just a really terrific omnibus man definitely a contender for omnibus of the year in my opinion i was looking forward to reading this so much and i'm so glad that i finally got my hands on it you get this great little shot here with wraith so this is uh has beautiful artwork in it as well gotta love all those little symbiote faces man they're just uh real crazy looking so it's going to be leading up into the king in black at this point you're gonna get the god is coming just carved into eddie brock's back and you're gonna get this stuff where uh, eddie brock actually goes back to that island where he once tried to kill spider-man and uh, he cuts off his hand man and just all this mayhem ensues dylan brock actually like turns into this big ass tyrannosaurus rex which i'm sure you've probably seen the uh, artwork for that the, the venom tyrannosaurus rex man which uh this whole island section was really really good and it was cool to have like a throwback to uh, the old school venom stuff yeah a little battle there with uh carnage and this tyrannosaurus rex dylan and dylan is a cool character too man he evolves throughout this story he's just a kid at first so, you know dylan brock's kind of a strange child and then you find out that he has some connection as well you get this uh, little codex story here i love how sometimes eddie brock kind of reminds me of rick grimes from the walking dead the way that uh ryan stepping draws him with the with the short hair and the beard which is always kind of a cool little thing but uh this is a cool little story here where they go to a different dimension and they they uh try to take down this codex character who is actually dylan but it's in an alternate universe and they got matt gargan and you got uh these different like venom symbiote armored characters like deadpool and actually cletus cassidy is one of them then it leads into the king of black storyline here null has come you know uh eddie brock he chose to save his son instead of the the world so now null is here and they have to uh you know try to battle this crazy symbiote god um i'm not really gonna get into too much of this because i do have the king in black omnibus and i am going to uh get into that probably very soon and have a review out for you guys then you get this carnage uh black white and blood i believe in the back here with the carnage shark uh this was kind of unnecessary i thought to throw in at the end there like you here have the venom 200 and then it ends and then you kind of just had this little thing in here i guess it's kind of like part of the uh, extras in the back so you don't get a ton of uh covers in the back of the book here you do get covers collected like after each issue of all the different variants you get some sketches and character designs and then you get these interviews from ravencroft with like eddie brock and cletus cassidy you get a venom cover gallery in the back here with 200 issues of venom donny case did a great job expanding the venom lore 
love the relationship between Eddie Brock and the symbiote. It's abusive, it's complicated, it's sometimes non-existent. The introduction of Dylan, Eddie Brock's son, and of course, Null is here. Definitely gonna be top contender for Omnibus of the Year for me. Let me know what you think about this book down in the comments, and as always, thank you for watching. I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Organic Price Books, the best place to get your omnibus and other collected editions. Super fast shipping, bulletproof packaging, and amazing customer service. Use promo code DROCK to get $2 off your purchase at organicpricebooks.com. Join the OPB family today.